Hello there, my fellow recruits, and welcome to another episode where we discuss, piece by piece, the one and only fountain of wisdom known as the Imperial Infantryman's Uplifting Primer. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, if you discount the Imperial Prayers video that I made, but worry not, because we are returning to the fold today. And we are going to achieve that by talking about how to properly use your standard issue LAS gun, as well as a couple of other weapons. We are going to learn how to strip them, reassemble them, load and unload them, and clean them properly. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, soldier! Chapter 2, Section 3 Specific Items of Arms and Equipment The Standard MG Short Pattern LAS Gun To an Imperial Guardsman, the LAS Gun is far more than just a weapon. It is an instrument of mankind's divinity, the bringer of death to his foes, whose howling blast is a prayer to the Emperor's retribution. The LAS Gun is the most precious item in your possession. Of all the things you will have to carry on your back, through swamp, jungle, or field, this is the one thing you must never lose. It is your closest ally, your most trusted partner, and your best protector. Treat it well. If you lose your last gun, you will die. The last gun is made to the same specifications, with a few variations, all over the galaxy. It is the most reliable ranged weapon ever manufactured. It is light, simple to maintain has a decent range and accuracy, and has won many, many wars since the birth of the Imperial Guard. You can drop it, hit it, use it as a club, or submerge it, and it will keep on working. Although it is recommended you do not do any of those things unless absolutely necessary. The last gun possesses the following virtues. Lightness, combined with strength. Simplicity, and ease of stripping in the field. Ability to fire either in bursts or in succession of single shots. It operates on a 19 mega full range and can therefore utilize any Departamentum Unitorum sanctioned power packs. It can be fired on two power settings, low and high. The last gun has a distinctive sound which can be useful to know on the battlefield. On the low power setting it has a whining sound and on full power a sharp cracking report. Although of universal design, variations do exist, usually dependent on the type of raw materials available on the planet of manufacture. You may come across either of these types which are most prevalent in this galactic sector. The first type, wood butt with a low foresight and backside set in AA sight blocks. Second type, Skeleton butt with a metal cheek rest. High foresight with backside set in AA sight blocks. To recharge the power pack. A laser power pack will last for many shots and can be recharged from a standard power source. Exposing the thermal cells to light or heat will also, over time, charge up the pack. Placing the pack in an open fire will also have an effect, but this shortens the pack's life and reliability. It is recommended that this method of recharging is only used in emergencies. To load. Insert the power pack into the housing and push home until you are certain that the pack catch has engaged. There should be an audible click when this occurs. Push the change switch to right for single shots or to left for full auto. Remember to recite the litany of loading during this procedure to ensure that the machine spirits are appeased and the loading is successful. To unload, grasp the spent pack with the left hand, press down the pack catch with the thumb and simultaneously withdraw it from the housing. Press the trigger and ensure that the breach is clear. You are now ready to reload. Remember to recite the litany of unloading during this procedure. To strip, Remove any power cells, undo bolts on body casing. These are found on either side of the barrel. Grasp barrel with left hand and slowly lift the body casing upwards. Pull power setting lever to single shot. 
Rotate the barrel anti-clockwise until it comes free. Slide back the mill slide on underside of optic sights. Remember to recite the litany of the last gun during this procedure, to show proper respect to the weapon. To assemble. Replace the barrel by inserting into locking position and rotating clockwise. Ensure it is tightly in place. Snap body casing over the catches. They will click when properly in place. Replace bolts, insert power pack. Remember to recite the litany of completion during this procedure. Cleaning and maintenance. You must ensure that your last gun is operational at all times. The best way to bestow a long and useful life upon your weapon is to keep it clean and oiled. This is an easy thing to achieve, given the simplicity of the last gun's construction. Make it a habit to clean your gun at least once a day. Then you can be sure you are administering at least a minimum of proper care. Run a fresh oil cloth over the body and exposed working parts. Ensure the mechanisms are well lubricated. Apply a thin coating of sacred unguent with the blessed swab cloth. Then, with a dry cloth, wipe away any excess oil and dirt from the body. Eject the power pack and pull back the cover of the ignition chamber. Clean the ignition rings thoroughly. If these are soiled, the gun will not fire reliably. And check for any blockages. Replace power cell and check firing mechanism. Remember to recite the litany of cleanliness and the litany of unjamming during this procedure to make sure that the weapon is clean, in spirit and in body, and will not fail when you ask for its service. If a problem occurs that is beyond your skill to rectify, report the fault immediately to the armorer or the taxier, so a proper overhaul with the correct litanies and incantations can be prescribed to the ailing machine. Do not try to remedy such a problem yourself. The spirit of the last gun must be respected. In the interim, a new weapon will be issued to you. A guardsman without his rifle is useless to the Emperor. Ensure its well-being in the same way you do your own. Your life depends on it. The Auto Pistol Some regiments will issue infantrymen with a pistol model of some description. It is felt in some quarters that a sidearm can be a useful addition to a soldier's armory. This is not universal, however, as many regiments believe that only officers should be equipped with such a device. Other regiments allow their ranks to acquire spoils from the battlefield for their own use, and pistols are a popular choice. Because of this, a brief description of the standard auto pistol is given here as a reference. The auto pistol is simple, effective, and manufactured to roughly the same design all across the galaxy. It is a one-handed firearm that delivers solid bullets, using a hammer to ignite the combustible element over a medium to short range. Its accuracy is moderate, and it is best used in short range or close quarters combat. It has considerable stopping power, but if the target is wearing armor, the force of the projectile can be greatly diminished. These specifications are by no means universal throughout the Imperium, but they can be considered generally accurate. Its weight is at between 300 and 800 grams, its length is between 9 and 25 centimeters, the length of the barrel is between 4 to 18 centimeters, the magazine type is straight between 5 and 30 rounds. The type of fire can be single or automatic. The rate of fire is between 60 to 150 shots per minute. And the sights can be fixed front or center optic sights. To fill the magazine. Remove magazine by pressing catch on left of the pistol, in rear of trigger. Holding the magazine in one hand, place the base of each cartridge near halfway along the preceding one, and then push down and back using both thumbs. To load. Push the magazine firmly and well home into the butt. Pull back the moving portion on the top part of the body, then allow them to return fully forward on the spring. The pistol is now locked and loaded. Remember to recite the litany of loading during this procedure. To unload. 
Remove the magazine. Pull the moving portions on the top part of the body back sharply to clear the chamber. Pull the trigger. Remember to recite the litany of unloading during this procedure so the machine spirits are awakened and aware of what you are doing. Important note, always remove the magazine first and pull the moving portion second. To strip, remove the magazine, press the knurled head under the muzzle and rotate the plunger to the left. The plunger and retainer can be removed. Slide the moving portions back until the rearward section cuts into the grooving above the trigger. Lift and remove the whole section. The innards are now fully exposed. To remove the firing pin, push the base of the mechanism until the sliding plate can be slid back and clear. Then the whole part can be removed. Recite the Canticle of Appeasement and the Catechism of the Machine to lay the unquiet spirit of the machine to rest while you carry out this disruptive procedure. To assemble. Reverse the above order, paying attention that the pin of the long catch goes through the barrel link. On completion, test the weapon before inserting a magazine by withdrawing the moving portion, letting it go forward, then pulling the trigger. Remember to recite the litany of completion during this procedure to end the act. Frag grenades. Frag grenades are standard anti-personnel weapons. Proficient and safe use of these during the thick of combat can spell the difference between a skirmish won and a skirmish lost. Tightly packed groups of assailants can be neutralized with a single well-aimed grenade. They work on a short fuse mechanism, and when the detonation process is begun, the explosive is primed to blow. When it does, fuse time is adjustable, the device explodes scattering a wide area, about 10 meters, with lethal shards of metal. Anyone caught in the area of effect without sufficient protection will be torn to shreds, as the blast debris buries itself in the victim's flesh. You will be given considerable training and practice in the effective use of anti-personnel grenades, including using them in booby traps and as mines. Ascertain the location of the enemy as closely as you can. If this involves leaving cover, do so with the utmost caution. When this is done, judge the best way to land a grenade in the prescribed area. Judge the enemy's location, estimated route and speed, and adjust the detonation timer for the most effective use of the device. Do this by twisting the outer ring until the correct time, in seconds, is pointed to by the arrow marker. Pull the pin out while reciting the prayer of ignition to ensure the spirit in the grenade is awakened, and let the holding lever fall away. Throw the bomb into the intended target area. If friendly troops are nearby, shout the prescribed warning. Find cover! Recite the ode to timing and the chant of accuracy after removing the pin and before throwing the device to ensure success using the grenade as a booby trap. Designate a zone where the enemy will likely pass through. A path through areas of rough terrain, jungle roads, roads through ruined urban districts are very good choices. Use your standard issue adhesive tape to fix a grenade to either side of the path using whatever is available. Disguise the grenade by covering it with loose debris. Ensure the cover does not obstruct the detonation mechanism. Tie each end of a length of wire to the detonation pin. When an unsuspecting enemy trips the wire, he will trigger the bomb. A well-laid ambush can be started with this sort of booby trap, as the column of foes will be disorientated by the blast. Recite the blessing of the bomb and the prayer of smiting to cause the trap to have a maximum effect. Note. If you lengthen the time to detonation to several seconds, the trap will activate when the enemy column has gone some way past, ensuring maximum casualties and confusion. The gas mask with the Mark 8 filter. After the last gun, your gas mask is the most important item in your possession. Ensure it is within reach at all times. The enemy may use such despicable methods as gas or chemical attacks at any time, and without warning. A confident and sure trooper can put his mask on in a matter of seconds. 
This is the target you should aim to achieve. It will save your life. While wearing the mask, recite continually the profession of faith and the litany of protection to ensure that the seal remains intact. The mask will protect your face, eyes, lungs, and throat from the most known gases, chemical and biological weaponry. The mask consists of a faceplate, hose, and can with the complex filtering inside. When the face piece is hugging the contours of the face tightly, it is safe to breathe. Air is drawn through the canister where deadly gases, vapors, and dark breaths of the enemy are removed, either mechanically or by chemical action. The clean air is expelled through a valve. Ensure the mask is always packed properly. Damage or creases to the face mask may allow alien gases inside the lining, thus into your lungs. If this happens, death is certain. The canister is the most important part of the mask. It contains many filters in which the filth of the enemy is cleansed. Do not tamper with the canister. You do not understand its workings, and repairs or alterations must be carried out by a specialist. Do not use the mask as a seat or a pillow. You may damage it without even knowing. Initially, you will find wearing the mask uncomfortable but you will become used to it as you train with it on. You will learn to compensate for the adverse effect it has on your agility and sight, and your lungs will begin to cope better with the added strain. Be aware, train yourself to put the mask on in the quickest time possible, and always stay alert for gas attacks. And that, my friends has been what I wanted to tell you about how to properly take care of your weapons in the Imperial Guard for today. So, if you decided to join the Imperial Guard, or Astra Militarum as the kids these days call it, you can watch this video again and be a model recruit from the get-go. You're welcome. If you have any other thoughts on these policies of using your guns, do write them down in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all an awesome day. The Emperor Protects.